Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on decision trees. And we said that these decision trees are an example of machine learning tools that's used for uh, supervised learning. Kasi nakadefine na sa ating mga variables natin. So what we did last time was to use the Cardio data set consisting of around 22 variables, not all of which we, we used. So it's uh, the data consists of this variable called NST, which based on the doctor's prognosis uh, was to determine whether the person was normal yung, ano niya, yung condition or suspect or pathologic NSP. Okay, so let me just uh, install my packages here. Okay, so we use the Cardio data set. Cardio. Okay, so while it's loading, what we did last time was to introduce a variable NSPF which is a factor which converts the NSP data into a factor. Okay. Taking long to load. Okay, then this is my card to data. Sorry for the lag. Okay, so I think my card data is now. Okay, then what we did class was to create this variable NSPF. Uh, the F series stands for a factor. Okay. If I look now at my at my cardio data set, view cardio. There are 2,126 observations, and now there are 23 variables. NSP now is uh, uh, the last one here, and if we check the class, class of cardio, cardio dollar, <laughs> so class cardio dollar why doesn't it register NSPF okay so it's a factor okay that's what we want All right, so what we did last time was to okay, check. We created a table for NSPF, and we found out that there were 1,655 1, out of the 2126 respondents. There were 1,655 who were normal. And if you take the percentage of this, 1,655 divided by N row, cardio, the number of rows or the number of observations for cardio. So you have around 80%, I think. 
Sorry, class, it's taking long. This should, should have taken nearly seconds. Okay, so most of the most of the uh, uh, level that we have in our data is n n normal. So there were I think around uh, ten percent of uh, pathologic and I uh, no no not eighty seventy seven and then around thirteen percent of this and around nine nine percent of pathologic. Okay, so we said that we don't use the 2,126 observations to model, to create a model of a decision tree. In practice, what we do is to split our data into training data set and testing data set. The rationale for that is we don't want, uh, we don't want to overfit our model. Okay, we don't want our, uh, all the languages. Okay, so we don't want to overfit our model. We don't want all the data to be used to create the model okay, because it will it will now create a uh, model that's uh, more fit for that uh, data set. Okay, we want it to be as generic as possible. So we're going to split it. And okay, very sorry again, class. It's really disengaging. Okay, can you hear me now, class? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Now let me just check if I'm recording. So when this disengages, sometimes it. Am I still recording? Right, so this is the way to uh, to split your data, okay, using the sample. Of course, if it's time series, you don't do it this way because time series has a temporal order. Okay, so when you split your a time series, it should be chronological. So, for example, yes, yes? sir. I don't think you're sharing your screen. Sorry, uh, you have to remind me, class, because when it when my internet disengages, no, I will understand. Share screen client. I apologize for that. All right. As I was saying, okay, uh, how do we split our data? In order for us to have the same data set, splitting of data set, we use set that seed. So this is a random number generator. You can put any number there, 987. If you put also 987, it will generate the same randomly, uh, randomly generated numbers. Okay, so we're creating this object PD. And what will it consist of? It will split. A number of rows, that's 2,126. So it will split it into two. And notice that its replace is equal to true. Uh, this is important so that the probability will be maintained. Okay, It's like uh, having a bowl of 2,126, uh, let's say, marbles. They're numbered. So when I draw out one, okay, and if I don't replace it, then what will happen is there will be 2,125 uh, marbles left. Okay. So the probability now will be changing because the uh, the total number of n rows will be changing. Okay, so replace is equal to true, which means when, when we draw out a number, we have to put it back. And 80, 20, 80% for the first set, 20% for the second set. We said that this we have to be very careful with this. 80, 20 is good in our case. There are 2,100 plus observations. 80% of that is around 1,700. So 20% of that is around 400 plus. So that's okay. <clears throat> Your testing data is 400 observations. That's okay. Your training data is one seven. That's okay. The uh, Careful with this. If you have a small data set, let's say 100, and if you're going to use 80, 20, then that means for your testing, you'll have only 20 observations, which might not be uh, good. All right. So we did this last time. I'm going to run this now. 
so we now have what's this this is now the the uh, let's say the uh, segregation of your data one 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 so the first four will go to group one and the fifth one the fifth observation will go to group two etc so notice there are more number ones of course because uh, it's 80% of 2,126, okay? So we're going to create this object called train, and we're going to use the uh, object that was generated PD. All number one will go to the train data set, and all number two will go to the test data set. Okay, so let's run this. So you notice now that the train data set, <clears throat> the train data set has around 1,700 <clears throat> observations, <clears throat> while the test data set has around 400 plus observations. Okay. Let me close this. Okay, now <clears throat> we're going to make use of the party package, C3, the function, and we're associating where the, the syntax is the, the, the target variable <clears throat> associated with LBACFM. These are the variables that we're going to use. Data is equal to train. Okay, and we're creating this object 3.1. Okay, so we ran this last time, <clears throat> control enter. So this is a large binary tree. And let me just run this uh, simple, the decision tree. We looked at this last time <clears throat> and we said that here are your terminal nodes, this one, the gray ones. And it gives us some information about <clears throat> how many were placed here. Here in node six, there are 314. And all of them were predicted as S because this is for N. These are probabilities. <clears throat> the probability that it will, it will be N is 40%. The probability that these 314 observations are S is for 49.7. The probability that it will be <clears throat> P is only 10%. <clears throat> if you take a look at the other, <clears throat> sorry, if you take a look at the other <clears throat> terminal nodes here, we have node number five. There are 11 observations here, and these are all predicted to be <clears throat> P and SP, the third one, pathology. You have others here, for example, node 18, node 19. and node 19, there are 28. Uh, 28 were placed under this one. Node 18, 12 were placed under this one. And the probability of it being uh, normal is very high. So for 19, these 28 observations were predicted to be N. And this one for node 18, all 12 observations were predicted to be 0.917. Okay, so these are now your predictions based on your decision tree. Okay, <clears throat> now, so what's the purpose of this? Now that we have created a model, uh, of course, class, we can modify our model a bit. We can make use of this function <clears throat> C3 control. Okay, we tried doing that last time, but uh, I I told you to try to experiment on how you can you can modify your model a bit. So, but this time we're not uh, going there. We're going to predict our model. So <clears throat> I changed some of the names here. You might wish to change yours also. I'm creating this object P1 for the train. This is predict one for the train data set, and we use this predict function. <clears throat> We're using 3.1, and then the new data, still train actually, but this is the syntax here, new data is equal to train. Okay, and then the type is equal to response. There are, two, there are two things that you can generate here, either prediction using probabilities or prediction using response. So let me just run this first. Okay. Uh, let me change this to probabilities so that you will not get confused. Okay, if I just print the head, head of 
this object, P1 train, and then this the six per six observations. And this one also had <clears throat> had P1 underscore train uh, underscore probability for this one, and then six. Let's see the difference between this one where the type is equal to response and this one where the type is equal to probability. Okay, if I run this both, okay. Hindi ko pa naran to, sorry. Okay. This one, if I run both of them. Okay, so you can see here, for the first one, the prediction is based on the the uh, level of the bar of the variable itself. I make this for it to be more clear. Ten that we can see other values. Control enter. All right. So here, one 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 two for the first ten observations because these are the predictions. While for this one, the predictions are in probabilities. So the first one is N, 71%, 9%, 19%. So this is N. So this should be one. Okay. This is also one having the highest probability. So the first six observations here are all predicted to be number one or normal. Okay. Any questions about this class? Sorry. Let me delete this. Okay. Any questions about this class? Uh, this is just a review. Could you kindly chat, please? Yes, or if you have questions, thank you. Joy, how about the others, please? Kindly chat, please. Uh, okay, good. Please feel free to ask question class if you have any. I'm going through this rapidly, fast, because I know that we have discussed this. Okay, and then what do we need to do, class? We have the actual value. We have the predicted value. Then let's see. Let's see if uh, if how good our prediction is. So we will create what we call the uh, we call this the uh, Okay, the confusion matrix. It's called the confusion matrix. All right. So we're creating this table. Okay. The x axis is the predicted value, and it's coming here from P1 underscore train. And then the y axis is the actual value. So it's a train data set, dollar and SPF. Okay. So if we if we print this. Okay, there you go. This is your confusion matrix. And what does this mean? So it was predicted to be normal. Uh, uh, so <laughs> actually, <laughs> the data was normal. It was predicted to be normal. So this is a correct prediction. <laughs> also this one. Actually, it's uh, two. Suspect. And it was predicted to be two. Okay. This one also, it was <clears throat> uh, pathologic and it was predicted to be pathologic. So the, the diagonals here, class, are correct predictions. The others here, off diagonals, are <clears throat> wrong predictions. Okay, so we can sum up the diagonal here, sum of the diagonal of table one divided by the sum of the total tab, total table. Okay, and then, so this will be the correct proportion, the correct percentage and one minus this one will be the incorrect proportion, incorrect percentage. If I run this, so model one, uh, so as far as the train one model, okay. Our train one model, which is uh, this one class. This one, sorry, three dot one. Our three dot one model, uh, the uh, performance, the it generated eighty percent correct predictions and around nineteen percent 
wrong. Okay? So is it good or bad? Depends on the context. So for some econometric data, the <clears throat> this this would be this could be a good a good predictive power. But if you're dealing with let's say uh, sciences like medical sciences where accuracy is really paramount, let's say you're taking a look at like like this one, the probability that a person has a normal uh, heart or or pathologic or suspect, it's very important to have a high predictive power. Okay, so it depends on the context. All right, so going here, class, what we have done was to use the model in order to predict, uh, create a model and then predict. And then uh, we compared, we, we were able to create this confu confusion matrix to know how our model fared. Okay, but we haven't used this to see how this will perform as far as the test data set is concerned. So here I'm creating now, we're going to predict using the test data set. So here predict 3.1 and then the new data is the test data and the type is equal to response, just like the same above. And here probability. So I'll, let me just run this one. Okay. Okay. So, maliliito. Unexpected symbol in one minus. Galing to. One minus. Okay. Wait. Let me run this again. Okay. There. And then let's let me just uh, print the first. First 20. Okay. So these were the predictions class. And if I compare that with head, then let me get test dollar NSPN. 20. Okay. So I'm, I'm comparing now. Let me delete this. I'm comparing the prediction, the first 20, and the actual first 20. Control enter. There. So this is correct. One one. This is the these are the predicted values. One one, one one, and one three. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Predicted to be one, but in fact it was three. Predicted to be one, but in fact it was three. So you can see here uh, there, there are some <clears throat> errors as far as predictions. Are concerned. So let's again create the let's create the confusion matrix. I'm creating this object tab that one test. Okay, table again for the x-axis is the predicted value p1 underscore test this one, and the actual is test underscore ah uh, sorry dollar nspf sorry not underscore. Okay, and then let's print. The cross tabulation, control enter, and then we have this one. Okay. So if I run this, the sum of tab one, so there are 408 observations, right? So play. Okay. So let's see how accurate our prediction is. So it's 79% versus 80%, so not bad. <clears throat> okay. So our model worked okay, fine, compared to the uh, to the uh, training data set. Okay, if you recall here, the training data set we were able to generate. Control enter. Oops, oh, sorry, not that. Uh, here, yeah, here. Okay, eighty-one percent or eighty point. 84%, while for the training data set, a testing data set, which it has not yet seen, ngayon lang yung nakita, no? it only saw the data for the first time when we when we predicted it, and then uh, computed for the <clears throat> for the uh, uh, correct predictions. Okay, so it's 79% against 80%, not bad. Okay, all right, any questions about this class? 
kindly chat, please, if uh, we're okay so far. Are we clear so far? <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, good. No questions? Okay. So let's go now to another package, and it's called... <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, our part also our partition. So kindly also <coughs> sorry, I forgot to tell you to also install our part dot plot. I'll give you a few seconds to run this. Start with this. <clears throat> Let me share with you the first in the interest of time. Okay, can you load this class? I believe. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so we now go to uh, the use of this package, our part. Okay, it, uh, let's create another tree <clears throat> because definitely this will be different from the <clears throat> results of the tree that one coming from the party package. Okay, 3.2, and we're going to use our part, and the same thing, we're going to model NSPF using LB, AC, and FM data is equal to the train data. And then let's print this. Okay, if you run this, you're going to see that it's also like, it's almost the same as the uh, party package, okay? Uh, and here you can see the probabilities, <clears throat> 0 0.78, 0 0.13, 0 0.08. Okay, let's now create a graphic representation of this, our part that plot. So we're using this function, our part that plot coming from the our part that plot package, 3.2, and I'm going to run this. And you can see that it's a better presentation, better presentation than the, uh, than the party package. Okay, so here you can see here that uh, <clears throat> the question here is if it's uh, if AC is greater than or equal to this number, if it's greater than yes, then go here. Don't I immediate target immediate na forecast, so it's normal. Okay, but if it's greater if it's not greater than this number. Okay, then you go to LB, the number of pounds. If it's less than 137, then you go to FM. Okay. If it's less than 0.2, then it's normal. If it's not less than 0.2, then it's uh, pathologic, etc. So these, once again, are your terminal nodes. Okay, and above is the number of prediction number one, because the probability for it to be number one is 95%. Here it's also number one, the probability is 71%. Here it's number three, 100% probability that it will be uh, pathologic. <clears throat> so this is the uh, uh, branch, okay? This is the tree. It's greater, it's not greater than eight, this number, and then it's less than 137, okay? And it's, it's not less than 0 0.02. The left one is yes. Take a look at this. The right one is no. Okay. And here you have the uh, legend. For this color, it's one. For this color, it's two. And then for the green, it's three. All right. <clears throat> so this is quite different from the uh, party output we have. Okay. You can also you can also change. The modify the plot a bit. Share this with you. you can modify the the. Kindly immute mo nakita. 
Okay, so you have here <clears throat> x is equal to one, two, three, four. It will give us different outputs. Okay, but it's it's actually the same result. Okay, so I'll 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 let you explore, uh, for example, it's number three, no? Proportion that doesn't belong to the group. It's a proportion that does belong to the group. Okay, so this will be okay. Tinanyo to class. So I'm um, prediction D to one, 93, 934 out of out of 988, correct. Okay. It belongs to this group. One talaga. So, ang linalagay dito class yung tama. 11 out of 11, this is 100%. 65 out of 99, it means 34 dito yung mali. Hindi siya number one. Okay. So, th those are the uh, outputs that you can generate from, from this one. All right. Then, let's predict now. Okay. Let's predict and see if, uh, if we'll be able to come up with a better predictive power as compared to the uh, party package. So let's create this predict2 for model 3.2, right? And train data set. Predict 3.2 type is equal to type is equal to class or response. Okay, so if we run this, okay, you can now see here the okay. So lot in niya, no? Okay, let's let me just change this head na lang head para hindi lahat iprint. This is the first ten. Okay, there. So you can see here one, two, three, four, five is not included kasi naka ano siya di ba? <clears throat> uh, naka nasa isang ano siya nasa isang group. So these are the it's best. Sama natin head. And then, <clears throat> so train pa rin to, no? Train. NSPF first time. Okay, so I'm putting side by side yung prediction at saka yung actual. <coughs> so there you go. <clears throat> Ang prediction natin, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1 yung una eh, yung lahat, no? Pero dito, ito mali ka agad. No? Ito actual, 2. 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2. So just like the party package, makikita natin na there were errors in the prediction. Alright, so let's create the confusion matrix. Okay, let's create this tab 2. Uh, tab 2, table 2. Table predicted natin is the model P2 train. Actual is the train and SPF. Then print natin. You'll have this. Okay. So this is the confusion matrix. Ito yung nasa diagonal yung tama. Parang mas konti lang mali nito. No? Looks like lesser errors. So let's. Okay. Again, in the interest of time. Chat this with you. Okay, and you can see now that it has a higher, uh, higher yung correct predictions niya. 83%. Ang wrong niya, 16. Okay, so in, in this instance, the R part package did a better uh, prediction for our data, for our trained data. <clears throat> as compared to the party package a while ago. This one has 83% correct prediction while the other one has 80%. Okay? So let's now also use the uh, model, R3.2, in order to see if how far, how better it works with the uh, trained data set, a test, test data set. So we're creating this. We're predicting using... 3.2, the test data set. Type is equal to the class or response. Okay, let's just uh, predict the first head P2 test 20. And then head uh, test dollar. Oops. Head 
test. Object is test and SP. There. Okay, so let's compare the two. At least the first, oh, sorry, wrong. Should be the first 20. It only generated the first six. Okay. You can see here that. Uh, so there, there are errors. No, there are errors in the prediction. But let's compute. So <clears throat> tab two, let's call this tab two test. This is for the test data. Okay, let's just change this. Test. 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 Okay, our predicted is share this with control C. Okay, so we're creating this object table two for the testing and we're using the table function. So on the x-axis is the predicted value, on the y-axis is the actual value. And then let's print this. And you can see here <coughs> the correct observations, the correct predictions, and the wrong predictions. Let's compute the percentage of correct and wrong. Control enter. Okay, so 80%, <coughs> okay, uh, not bad. 83% is the, for the training, for the testing, it's 80%. <clears throat> 80 point, uh, 81%, around 81%. Okay, questions, class? Questions? Or kindly chat, please, if you were able to get it. Thank you, Mark. Okay, thank you, Clyde. Let's wait for the others, none. Okay, so we're able to compare two different models, the party package and the R part. Well, does R part usually uh, give better results? No, no. It just so happened here that R part was the better, generated the better algorithm for predicting NSP. Okay, all right, kindly open class. We'll go to the last uh, part of this discussion, the uh, FF3, another very interesting package. Kindly open the file that I sent to you. I hope you saved it in your R project and then open it and then let's go to the discussion of past and frugal trees. Okay, so you should have, you should be having this. Okay, so for this one, I'm not going to uh, discuss it too much. Okay, so please read this. This is actually coming from the documentation of FF3s. Okay, the idea here is that can you actually create uh, a decision tree uh, very fast and very frugal? When you say frugal, the model is very simple. Unlike the, the one that we generate for, from party package and our part, right? they, there you have uh, how many terminal nodes? Quite a lot, 10 or 11 terminal nodes. For FFT, for FF3s, it will generate a, a very simple model. Okay, So the idea behind it is that, okay, according to Malcolm Gladwell, you are suspicious of rapid cognition, Okay, which means that... Uh, Questionable sa atin yung quick decision making. Okay, we live in a world that assumes that quality of a decision is directly related to the time and effort that went into it. So which means spending more time really looking at the, your data, etc., etc., before making a decision. Okay. Now, uh, according to Gladwell, these are misconceptions. 
about good decision making. He says that more is better. Okay, this conception, for example, more is better in the realm of the doctor making a diagnosis. Isn't it that that uh, it's it will be foolhardy for a doctor to just immediately decide to operate on a person okay. without really uh, uh, coming up with uh, several tests. That, that seems to be that seems to be rational. Okay, or investor in stock market, getting as much data as you can and build a very complex statistical model so that it can describe the past perfectly. The problem with this is you may describe the past perfectly, but what we need is a prediction for the future. While it may, it may uh, come up with a model that's really very good about predicting the past, we're not sure if this will be a good model in predicting the future. Okay, because what transpired in the past may not be the same as what will transpire in the future. Okay, so please read through this for you to understand what really is the objective of this past and frugal trees. Okay. So first, uh, I hope you have already installed FFTs. If you run library FF, FFTs, it will create this uh, diagram. Same diagram. Yung kanina. Okay, nawala. Okay, anyway. So after loading FF3's class, <coughs> we're going to make use of data coming from, I forgot to tell you this, huh? yung package na VCD extra. So kindly, uh, if you don't have it, check nyo muna dito sa packages nyo. If none, kindly install class. Install VCD extra. Okay. We're going to make use of the function data sets. Actually, hindi nyo natin kailangan itong ano. But sige. Anyway, class, ilagay nyo lang data sets. And then we'll ask uh, VCD extra. What are the data sets that you can find in the package FF3s? So if I run this, it will give a listing of the packages that you can find, of the data set that you can find in FF3s. FF3s, as I said a while ago, stands for Fast and Frugal Trees. <laughs> okay? So here we have hard that test and hard that train. We're going to make use of this now. Okay. It's like similar to, to your cardio data set. So it'll load that in turn. Okay, let's load this. Okay, but before that, let's go first to the guide. So let's run this FF3's dot guide. Okay, so I'm going to run this and let's take a look at the, the highlight natin tong lakihan natin tong help. Kasi dito sa help yan lalabas. So here, I run this. Okay. Running so slow. <laughs> Bagal. Actually, this is a guide class. Huh? This is a guide. Okay, we're able to run it, class. Okay, so it should appear here in the help in the help uh, window pane. Okay, so this was developed by Andy Phillips, Nathaniel Phillips, and Neth. Okay, so we have here some information. Okay, this is the one that we're going to use now. So I just replicated it here. 
Yeah, I think I, by the way, so I gave you this file. I don't need to copy paste uh, some some of the codes here. Maybe it's not included there in your file. But uh, here, class, you can see the output of this pass and frugal trees, okay, which we're going to discuss in a while. Okay. And you have here more information. So let's run now our data. Let's first load our data. So you have it there in your file. So let's load heart.train. So this is coming from FF3s, right? And also uh, heart.test. So I'll just run this too. To load it. And then here, plus, here is our view. So you have here uh, 14 variables, diagnosis, age, gender, CP, I forgot this, uh, rest, resting uh, uh, blood pressure, cholesterol. And this, yeah, this I think is blood sugar, okay, et cetera. Sal, uh, Forget the meaning of sal. Okay, anyway, so these are the variables that we're going to use. Uh, so we can use everything here. And uh, you know, the good thing about FF3s is, is that it will, it will uh, do an algorithm where it will really check what are the most relevant ones for your features. But let's do that. Okay, let's also load this. We need to load also heart. Okay, data heart that test. We also have to load that. Could not be found by here. Anyway, it's there, so I don't know why it's a cannot be found. It didn't load, it didn't load to the environment, but <clears throat> it's here. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so this data frame consists of data from several patients. Okay, my age, my sex, my my medical test, <laughs> cholesterol, <clears throat> and chest pain, yes or no. The variable, the target variable is diagnosis, which is one for patients who are truly having heart attacks, zero for those who are none. So this is categorical class. Okay, in fact, binary, dalawa lang, no? My heart attack or walang heart attack. One for those with heart attack, zero for those with no heart attack. Okay. So the goal of FFT, pass and frugal tree, would be to find a key var key variables in the data that can quickly and accurately predict diagnosis. Okay. So let's run this. Let's take a look at our code. Heart, FFT, this is our <clears throat> object. We're using the FF3's function. Formula, our formula is equal to diagnosis associated with everything. So we're going to use all the other variables in our data. Okay. And then we have to identify the uh, training data and the testing data. That's why you need to have two data sets here. Training data and the testing data. And also, this will only work for binary. So that's why we cannot use the cardio data set because the cardio data set uh, has uh, trinomial yung features yung target variable niya, NSP. Itong FFT is only for two variables, only for two levels. Okay? So the, the data.test is heart.test. Okay? The, the, the title of the plot is uh, ER decisions. And you have here, okay, stable for zero, heart attack for one. So this is your decision labels. Okay, so let's run this. Run.
All right, and kindly chat, please, if you were able to run the FFT's function, this heart underscore FFT. Okay, kindly chat, please. I'd like to see if uh, you were all able to generate the heart underscore FFT. that please class so we're able to run this once again waiting for your feedback Okay, thank you, Ashley and Lisa. How about the others, class? I'm waiting for your feedback. If you were not, if you were able to run it, okay. Thank you, Clyde. Okay, Mark, can be okay. Thank you. So I hope the others are able to follow. All right. So. The FFT is quite different from the Part T and the R part package. Let's print first the <clears throat> object that we created, Part FFT. Let's print this. Okay, so if you take a look at this, there's a summary of the output. Okay, it tells us that there are seven FFTs, fast and frugal trees, predicting diagnosis. So may mga cost of outcomes here, and then cost of use. You can see that there are cost of use there. And this is the definition, this is the model. If TAL is either equal to RD and FD, then heart attack then. Okay, very fast. No? So let's take a look at the heart the train, for example. The TAL variable is either normal, RD, or FD. Three levels here. So let's see, uh, table, heart, dot train, dollar, diagnosis. Uh, sorry, not diagnosis, but rather, tal. Let's just see, tal. You can see here that uh, normal is 87, RD is 57, FD is uh, six okay so the test here the first decision rule is that sabi to na ff3 if so no, if tal is either rd or fd then punta ka kagad sa heart attack bilis tapos then next layer if cp is not equal to a then stable siya otherwise if ca is greater than zero then heart attack Otherwise, decide stable. So very simple ang class yung tree niya, no? Very, very simple. Okay, and then here we have a uh, sort of a uh, sort of a uh, confusion matrix, no? Okay. So on total, so ito class yung, ano, yung, yung actual, no? Actual. So actual na na 4, 12. So, dinicide niya na plus. Tapos, ang plus dito is uh, 1. No? Yung may heart attack. 54. Or is this normal? Normal yata ito. No? Sorry. Dinicide niya na no pinidik na na normal. Okay, when in fact, normal siya. So, tama ito. Pinedict niya na hindi normal. Okay, when in fact, normal siya. So, mali ito class. And, and so on and so forth. This one, actually, not normal siya. 66. Pero pinedict niya na not normal. So, tama. So, ang mali niya itong 18. 
All right, and the total is 150, 150 observations, which is coming from the, uh, ito yung trained data set natin. Surprisingly, ang trained data, data set natin dito class, mas malaki pa, <laughs> mas konti kaysa dun sa testing data set natin. And there are some measures here, accuracy, uh, sens sensitivity, specificity, etc. No? Okay, we'll not go, we're not going to go into that now. And then you can take a look at this. Summary and then in words. I don't think I. Isama niyo na to sa ano sa. Okay. All right. Plat natin class, no? Plat natin. And ito class yung result. So let's take a look at this model. This is your fast and frugal trees. Uh, so we're we're dealing with <coughs> with the uh, uh, training data set which has 150 observations no? so based on the actual data 84 dito stable 66 ang not stable or with heart attack <coughs> so um proportion 56 percent that's 84 out of 150. Okay, stable, 44 out of, a <clears throat> 44%, uh, sorry, which is 66 out of 150. Okay, my heart attack. <clears throat> All right, then, ito na yung decision three niya. No? First, take a look at the TAL, the TAL variable. If the TAL variable is equal to RD or FD, decision kagad, my heart attack yan. Okay, and if you take a look at the decision, ito no? Decision heart attack. Ilan yung mali? Ilan yung, <clears throat> ilan yung false alarm in the sense that nagsabi tayo ang prediction natin heart attack. Okay, tama, 47. 47 indeed <clears throat> had suffered from heart attack. <clears throat> and then 16 did not. So may mali tayo dito. No? 16 ang mali natin na prediction. 47, tama. And of course, yung pumasok dito is 63. 63 responses yung pinidik natin. Okay? <laughs> then, if it's not RD or FD, punta tayo dito, no? Kung normal siya, tingnan natin yung chest pain, CP. Okay? If it's not equal to A, yan, exclamation point is equal to, ibig sabihin, not equal to. If it's if the CP is not equal to A, then decision kagad stable siya. Okay? So of this, <clears throat> 63 yung pumunta dito. And 55 were correctly predicted. 8 were wrongly predicted. Okay? So may isa pang branch dito. If it's not equal to A to, no? If it's equal to A, puntahan naman yung CA. If CA is less than 0, and then stable yan. Ito yung prediction. 11 out of 15 correctly predicted, apat yung wrongly predicted. If it's uh, greater than 0, if CA is positive, then heart attack yan. Okay? Dalawang mali dito, 7 yung tama. Okay? And then we have here, <laughs> yung sinabi natin kanina, no? yung uh, uh, predict na Pinidik niya magkaka-heart attack, tama nga, may heart attack. Pinidik niya na magkaka-heart attack, pero stable naman, so mali. 12. Okay? Ito naman, pinidik, pinidik, pinidik na stable. Okay? So, 66, tama. Okay, ito, mali. <laughs> then you have here measures. No? Measures. Okay, what I did, check nyo nga class yung ano, Kindly check if, uh, kasi may linagay ako dito, no? go to visual please, go to visual, and kindly check class if nasama ko dito yung pag-send sa inyo ng, ano, ng formula, ng explanation ng mga measures na yun. Okay. Alright. Do you see this class? And the end. <laughs> Ito. 
this one. Kindly chat, please, if you see this. <coughs> okay, chat, please. Yes or no, please. Uh, go to visual class. Nung sa ano natin sa RMD. <clears throat> Kasi nasa source tayo eh. Ito yung, ito yung RMD na ano na usual. Di ba sabi natin ngayon? Pwede natin makita. Pwede na tayong mag 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 copy paste some pictures. <clears throat> yung sa usual na ano hindi pwede. <laughs> pwede pa rin pero <clears throat> mas mahirap. Ito direct direct yun eh. <clears throat> Kinapi paste ko lang to. Okay. Paki chat nga please kung if you have this. Again, class, pakiyaya. Huwag time na kasi. Kung pwedeng paki yes or no lang. Kung pwedeng pakidali na lang, please. Okay, good. All right. So, good. Nasa nabigay ko, no? So, itong mga to, class, are the measures used in fast and frugal trees. And it tells you accuracy, for example. Ano ibig sabihin ng accuracy? So, this is like the uh, correct prediction. True positive plus true negative, no? Divided by true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative. Okay, ito yung mga wrong predictions. Itong dalawa yung correct predictions. So if we go to our uh, table kanina, no? asan dito yung asan dito yung true positive? I'll go back here to my source. Where's the true positive? Here class. Okay. Positive na may heart attack, no? 54. Two negative, positive na walang heart attack. So 54 plus 66, that will be 120, okay? Out of ilan yung total na to? Because that's true positive plus true negative uh, plus false positive plus false negative. So all in all, that's 150. So that's 120 divided by 150, okay? Which is what we were computing a while ago dun sa confusion matrix natin. Okay, that's 80%. So, FF3 is ang tawag sa kanya. It's called accuracy. So, where's our accuracy here? Ito, ACC. So, that's accuracy. Okay, so it's almost time class. I'll just end in this. So, dito sa visual, just check this class for the definition of each. Accuracy sensitivity ano yung sensitivity okay sensitivity is true positive sensitivity true positive rate sensitivity also as recall or the true positive rate measures the proportion of actual positives that are correctly identified by the model so that's what's that class it's the true positive divided by the true positive plus the false negative okay so if we take a look at that class yung sensitivity natin sensitivity ng Model natin to predicting correctly. Ano yun? Ito, no? 54, yung correctly uh, predicted. True positive to. Divided by, ang total na prediction natin dito, ito. Diba? This one. Ang predict natin na total, uh, total positive is 66. Ang tama natin, 54 out of the total. So we're predicting here, we're taking a look at the performance nun sa pag-predict natin ng positive na may heart attack. So that's 54 divided by 66. So that's our sensitivity. Ito class, yung sense dito. Yan, yeah. 82. Okay? So lahat to may mga meanings class and it's already here in your visual. Okay? So lastly class, okay, so may mga discussions ako dito, no? just uh, take a look at this. Ayan yung mga image na class, ayan yung mga kanina. So lahat ng mga measures yan, class, I already explained it. Ito yung accuracy na BACC, balance accuracy. And there's a definition for that. Okay? All right. So it's uh, almost time, class. So let me just... Uh, okay. All right. So I hope you learned something today. So tatlong packages, let me just recapitulate. Tatlong packages yung tinignan natin. No? Part T, R part, and FF3s. So si FF3s, medyo kakaiba siya. No? Kasi... It comes up with a very, <laughs> very, uh, sabi natin anong model yan. Uh, yung very conservative, hindi conservative. Yung 
yung parang kuripot na model. Okay? Pero in fact, yung ano niya, di ba? Yung based on the confusion matrix, 80% din yung ano niya eh, yung yung uh, correct prediction, no? Okay? Unfortunately, class, hindi natin magagamit yung cardio data set natin kasi si cardio data set natin, uh, I wish we could have, no? NSP yun, tatlong ano, tatlong tatlong levels and unfortunately si ff 3 hanggang ano lang hanggang binary lang siya hanggang dalawa lang okay so i would that you take a look at this class especially please please pay attention dito no one last word itong auc area under the curve kasi this is something very very interesting no yung auc na to yung receivership uh wait saan yan sa source tayo Okay. Ito class. This one. Kasi it compares, no? It compares here class. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hindi ko kita. This one's, okay. So, last second class, sorry. Just to finish this off. Okay. This one's class. Hindi kita dito. Yung one, two, three, four na yan. <clears throat> These are different models. Ito class, no? Okay. Area under the curve, yung AOC natin, refers to the area under the curve of from the receiver operating characteristics. Okay. I don't think I place here the, you know. Okay. Anyway, sabihin ko na lang bukas, no? Okay. Yun ang kulang ko na lang. Okay. <laughs> With that class, let me stop. Recording now.